In this tutorial in Cyberlink Power Director, we're going to look at some placement tips when you are using an Adorage filter in the effects room. I have on the screen an effect that we finished with in another tutorial when we introduced you into how to begin to use the effects found in the Adorage add-ons. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the track, which happens to be a simple color board in track number one, and show you what that Adorage filter we already have does. I'll click on the Effect button with track one highlighted, and it reminds me I have an Adorage filter. And if I turn the box off, if I undo the checkbox to the left of the name of the filter, you'll see what it looks like without the filter. So we have an icon, we have uh, two different titles and a background here, and when I applied the filter in the other lesson, uh, this is what came about. By the way, I've respelled Christmas the correct way here. Um, but if I try to add another Adorage filter on top of this one on the same track, I can't do that. When I click Standalone Effect, uh, I can go ahead and change the filter, but I cannot actually add a separate one. If I click on Cancel here, I can... Uh, uh, exit out of my box here. If I go into my effects room, attempt to add another one on the same track that's an adorage filter, I get the error message and effect is applied to the clip. So when you're working with the adorage filters in the effects room, uh, you can only add one to a single element at a time. Let's assume I want to add another effect though, an adorage effect. I'm going to go into the filter room and instead of putting it on top of my track number one, I'll simply put it on the effect track, the FX track here. And uh, we'll lengthen it just for fun here. And uh, so what I'd like to do in this particular case is add a second Adorage filter. So now with the track selected, I can go into modify. And now, since I have no Adorage effect, just the name of Adorage, I'll click on Standalone. And then this will get me into my uh, directory in Adorage, in the Adorage startup menu, which unfortunately I cannot resize. Yours may look different than mine. It will depending on uh, which version of PowerDirector you have, if you have the Ultimate or if you have um, the Ultra version. I right now have a standard list, a volume 13 list, and a volume 2 list. I'm going to click into the volume 2, and uh, let's see, we'll go into motif effects, and let me try uh, various motifs, go into nature, and now I have one called snow. I'm going to click on the snow effect, and I see that I have some nice flakes coming down, and that might work out really nice. So I'll click on OK. And we go ahead and if I apply it, you see it applied it to all the tracks that are smaller numbered or actually higher in my tracks. Since my car is below that, it works out fine because the car is something I want to focus on. I may not want to have it covered with snow. Uh, it's not natural, but I'm not selling snow. I'm selling a car. If I want to simply change that, all I need to do is add an effects track. And certain versions of PowerDirector allow you to do that, others don't. I'm working in version 16 Ultimate, and I can add an effects track. I click on the Add Additional Video Track at the upper left corner above my timelines, and I have Video, Audio, and Effect. I've already done that here. I'll cancel out. I had it, I've added an effect uh, down here below track number 3. So all I need to do to move the snow, since it's on its own effect track, is to take the Adorage filter track and push it down here uh, below the car. And now when I look at it again and I, and I click on the, the move my playhead, now the snow is in front of the car. I could do the same to move it in front of or behind these title bars if I wanted to. For now, I'm going to go ahead and remove that filter and uh, that effect track and we'll get back to where we started. Another thing you can do if you want is you can apply it simply to something else. I'll take this Christmas sale 
and we'll drag the Adorage filter here to that particular track and then I'll click on the effect button above on the left now I will, it will want me to pick which Adorage uh, filter I want to use for my Christmas sale I'll go back to volume 2 uh, motif uh, various motifs nature and snow and I'll click on OK and now what it's doing is just snowing on my text because I applied it only to that element so if you want to go ahead and uh, impact uh, something as simple as a title with some snow uh, you could do that in this case uh, so where you put your effect is going to impact the influence that effect has on your entire project. So think in terms of layers. What do I want behind my effect? What do I want in front of my effect? And you can also think in terms of objects. Uh, what do I want my uh, effect to do to change the appearance of something as simple, for example, as a title? I could apply it also to the object of the, of the Chevy, and it would only be snowing in front of the Chevy. Uh, that would be a rather odd approach, but it's doable. So this is just a couple tips on how and where to apply Adorage uh, filters from your effect room.